Hey guys, welcome back. Drip Coach here with Drip and Farm Poor Poverty, where we don't trust, we verify and operate with integrity and transparency. Today, giving you an update on world liberty. If you don't know, stay tuned. All right, so World Liberty is the official name of the uh, crypto DeFi platform by the Trump family. I don't specifically think it was actually um, former President Donald Trump who designed this. I believe it is definitely his sons and of course other people working with them because he mentioned that his sons were uh, much more into crypto and stuff like that. And they're the ones that convinced him and got him to finally embrace it. So I would assume he's not the one running it, but clearly leveraging his uh, popularity, for lack of a better word, <laughs> to uh, spearhead this campaign. And there are already tons of scams out there. You can see a Defiant Ones Stole Token and WLFI. Is that out there? That might be an old one. World Financial, World Liberty Financial. I didn't actually check this before, but I did see, um, you know, World Liberty. That could be an old one or something like that, 20K. Anyway, but I did see other telegrams and stuff posing as that. So you definitely want to, the best way I recommend is um, going to uh, Twitter, World Liberty Phi. It's actually got a blue check mark. If you want to go even one deeper, you can go to uh, good old Donald J. Trump's page. He tweets a lot, though, so you have to dig through stuff. But he did actually tag it. And then from there, you have the Telegram channel that you can click to join. And on Telegram, and they've got almost 100,000 subscribers already, they have a few updates. We still don't know what is going on here. But the main thing they keep putting is avoid uh, scams and um, what is this other one? Yeah, this is the big one. The uh, World Liberty Financial Meme Contest. Celebrate President Trump's tweet about us yesterday. Kicking off an epic meme contest. Show off your creativity and get patriotic with your submissions. AI generate videos, memes, digital art, everything goes. So clearly... Um, whoever is in charge of this is temper testing the um, the community or the pulse of how DeFi works or crypto works. It's all about culture and communities. So, and you've already seen that Trump is definitely a memeable character. There are tons of memes and stuff out there. And now with AI generative art and things of that nature, that's going to make it even easier. I've seen already really, really good ones out there doing that. But they're going to use that to um, promote and push more visibility on whatever this is. Like, we still don't know what this is, but we do know that it's going to be some sort of DeFi platform because literally it was originally called Defiant once. And Eric was um, in a interview podcast somewhere and he mentioned that over half the country cannot be banked. I showed that clip before. So I would assume something along the regards or lines of um, borrowing lending on a platform. Will it be true DeFi? I have no idea. I highly doubt these guys would just, you know, burn access keys to contracts and push it to a blockchain. It would definitely come with some oversight and making changes so they would be in control of it. So the question is, do you trust the Trumps? <laughs> That's all you can really um decide when you want to use these things and like i said don't trust but verify we can verify that they have a long financial history and um lots of ebbs and flows in the careers and investments of donald j trump but uh, he's definitely financially savvy and knows how to work 
the systems in the US. So I don't know what will happen with this, but clearly it's been in the working for a while because the trademark was established back in mid July. So I'm just bringing this up so that you can keep your eyes and ears peeled. I have no idea what it will be. Will it be before the election? I think so, to be honest. Um, I, I think this is kind of some kind of catalyst campaign kind of thing. I don't really know. Um, and of course, there's nothing out there in the chat to speculate on. But whenever it comes out, you'll see it on Truth Social. You'll see it on Donald J. Trump's Twitter. And you'll see it on World Finance, uh, World Liberty Financial. Sorry. And it'll probably be everywhere else, especially with this meme contest. So uh, um, let me know what you guys think. Is it something you're looking at? Uh, I would definitely throw some money at it because <laughs> why not? It's got to be a better gamble play than the the DeFi ones that I got in earlier this year from DripX and SwapX because those haven't done shit. So I would assume something like this will have a lot bigger backing and more money and capital going into it. And then this guy, Corey Kaplan, is on the team coming from early days of Ethereum. So I would imagine there's more uh, points of contact with skill and resources than just this guy, because they got to have the money to build this. And if he's talking about something for the country to support the unbanked, then I would assume there's a, a significant amount of capital and backing and VC support and stuff going into this. So I am looking forward to it. I don't know what it is, but hell, I'll give it a shot and see see how it works all right that's all i got smash that hbo special help brother out like subscribe comment down below and until next time lift daily and achieve your impossible see ya want to pay your in real life bills with crypto how about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account spritz finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments they do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.